Hey y'all, I'm back with a bit of a shorter video today because I just wanted to talk about the unique two-handed bludgeoning weapon for barbarians, the Hellhammer. I've gotten a few comments asking about this weapon uh, for people who are wondering if it was viable, how good is it, especially since the unique effect from the Hellhammer is tied to upheaval specifically. The Hellhammer's unique legendary effect is that upheaval ignites the ground, burning enemies for an additional amount of damage over 3 seconds. Its stats are rolling with 200 bludgeoning damage, rolls with damage to crowd control, damage to burning, and damage reduction from enemies that are burning. And as far as I understand, stats on unique items seem to be pretty deterministic. They don't really change at all. The, the numbers on the stats can change, but the actual... You know, stats themselves don't change as far as I'm aware. So, when you use upheaval, it has a wave of fire on the ground in its place, including the actual damage from upheaval. I mean, it basically says what it says it does, that's about it. Um, it's not going to be enough damage to just completely delete an entire elite pack with like loads of burning damage or anything like that. But is it a nice bonus to extra damage? Yes. But it's also not going to be, you know, a huge amount. There's a niche use case for this weapon, actually, I have found, where if you're fighting spiders, the spider host, when it is killed, will spawn a bunch of other spiders, and those smaller spiders will often be killed by the fire damage from the hellhammer. So there's that, but is it worth using for that use case specifically? Not really, but it's it's fine. Is it better than a really well-rolled legendary item with good stats like vulnerable damage strength crit chance stuff like that with a really strong legendary effect that's like twice as effective because two-handed weapons have a double uh effectiveness of the legendary powers no i don't think it's going to be better than that um but is it kind of novel yes do i like the way it looks yes it's super cool looking i like the fire trail when you're carrying it around but overall it's it's okay if you get it give it a try i don't think it's gonna like totally elevate your build but i also don't think it's gonna like completely make you deal like zero damage it's not like that bad or anything like that in my opinion and just as a side note you don't actually need to have upheaval use your hellhammer you can use your two-handed slashing weapon if you want with upheaval which is what i do uh, personally you still get the bonus from the hellhammer's uh fire damage even if you use upheaval with your two-handed slashing weapon so that's a nice little bonus so you can do that Otherwise, though, it's alright. Like I said already. So, if you're watching the gameplay footage in the background, I will mention just offhand that I'm also using the Butcher's Cleaver. It is a one-handed slashing weapon as well. It looks sick, and I actually think it's kind of good. The stats are okay. Um, crit strike damage, crit strike chance on injured enemies is kind of whatever, but the lucky hit effect is actually kind of nice because it is a 100% chance to proc the lucky hit effect when you do lucky hit normally lucky hit effects have something like you know up to 30 percent chance to do this thing or up to 50 percent chance or whatever but this is a 100 percent chance so whenever you hit with an attack and it's a lucky hit you'll get the fear in the slow which is pretty good in my opinion to be honest uh it also looks super cool this weapon looks awesome <laughs> so i've been enjoying uh grabbing both of these up are they gonna be like best in slot items Again, probably not, but like I'm still cruising through leveling right now in terms of being able to kill stuff pretty easily, so I'm having fun still. I did want to bring up that I have a couple other videos in the pipeline that I want to work on. Uh, I would like to kind of finalize the build somewhat around level 90 to 95, maybe to up to level 100 to try and really optimize the build as much as I can. I'd like to make a video on that. We'll see what happens. Leveling is a little slow, plus some, you know real life obligations are getting in the way i also want to make a full-on leveling guide for upheaval as well but that probably going to take some time because i really want to like actually try out leveling with upheaval instead of just theorizing a build i actually want to really attempt it and try it out to see how good it is um, that's probably not going to happen until closer to the season one launch i'll probably have something to do with leveling with upheaval hopefully by the time season one rolls around next month so if you're curious about that, that's going to be a bit ways off, but I do want to work on that in the future. Uh, otherwise, I appreciate the amount of support I've gotten on my YouTube channel over the last week. It's been kind of overwhelming, but I appreciate the uh, all the views and the comments and uh, a lot of the mostly kind words. So appreciate everyone uh, 
hanging out and watching uh, what I've been doing here in Diablo 4 so far. Uh, last plug is I stream on Twitch multiple times throughout the week. I'm not only playing Diablo. I got some Final Fantasy 14 stuff if you're into that. Um, otherwise, uh, I'll probably be doing some some Diablo 4 streams throughout the week, likely. So go follow me on Twitch. Maybe I'll stream on YouTube. I'll think about it, but links on the screen and in the description. Otherwise, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.